Hey guys, I just wanted to show you uh, the stuff you can do with with your uh, parts you get <laughs> you salvaged off your Chinese graver. Um, I watched a lot of Sean Hughes, I guess that's how you say his name, and I seen where he made a uh, pump compressor. I mean, look. Uh, compressor uh, hair graver so I decided to do the same when my Chinese junk didn't work and uh, basically I went to Walmart I bought this for like 30 bucks and uh, I took it apart there you are. sorry about the camera <laughs> that's poor people here anyways let me see if I can get this you can see it halfway decent. Anyways, the uh, to take it apart, you have, got five screws right here. I use this because you need an extension, something small that doesn't strip out the out the screws. And you take all five of them out. You take take this off. I think it's a 10 millimeter or 7 16 something like that take it off right here you can see I got I got a elbow that's from the Chinese graver and uh, right here used to be the uh, the air pressure gauge I took that out once you take it apart it's got a sleeve fits over you take the sleeve off and right inside this piece here, there's a plate. It's got a little, little hole, little hole drilled, I guess, for there to go to the, the pressure gauge. You pull that out. I tried running with it in there. I'm gonna get really hot. I took it out. I got more air pressure. I drilled this hole. I, I think it was. I can't remember how big it was. I, anyways, I took a gauge to it, drilled it out so this would fit in there. And actually, it threaded it, self threaded itself. I, I tried to glue it in there and I spun it in and it made its own thread. So now it just screws right on in. So I got lucky on that. Anyways, I took the, I bought me a router speed control. Awesome. This is awesome. I like it, and I specifically got this one from Walmart because it has the plug in. So I just plug it into that. That way, I don't have to do all the bridge wiring and all the extra parts. This cost twenty. And this was thirty, so like fifty bucks. I used the I used my pedal from the Chinese graver, which you don't have to use it. I've run it straight. I've run this straight to here. And uh, it's got more power this way, but it doesn't cut as good as, as when you have a paddle for some reason. I had to, uh, the piston, let me see if I can take this off one-handed. I had to do some modifications on the, on the piston. It's a pain in the ass to try to do. Maybe I'll just, you know. I'll get it running. Basically, I had to uh, do a little fine tuning on the edges because it would get stuck. You know, it was like the edges were too sharp. So I rounded the edges off, both sides. And I put it in like this. And there I sat down. That's the way it was. It actually works better that way. Let me put the spring back in. Anyways, I was playing with it for the best performance I could get out of it. And actually, uh, once I got the Chinese thing working, the, it's a totally different sound. Chinese graver's kind of faster. I didn't hook there the router speed control up to it yet. Anyways, 
That's like a five or six. Not as loud. Just got some control. Look now it's gonna malfunction. And I got hills of control out of it. I like it. It's alright. Anyways, that's pretty much all you have to do. Oh, wait a minute. Now I took the plate. I took the plate. This this piece here. You know, went into the. That's what the valve sat on. I took that piece out. If you look at Sean Hughes, he takes his out too. Basically, when it flips over, the valve goes into there, or the air hole feeds the valve. It was a, I cut it, drilled out a section, and made me a little penny holder out of it. So, you get a free penny holder if you're good with making stuff. It works good. I like it. It saves some money. Yeah, that's good. That's all, folks.